Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we head to Calgary, Alberta to explore an idea that could change the way you think about heating with wood. It's called a rocket stove. It's a hyper-efficient wood stove that takes an idea from the developing world and adapts it to ours. To learn more about rocket stoves, we met up with Ashley Lubick and Rob Avis. Lubick is a natural builder, while Avis is a permaculture instructor. They were both putting on a workshop to show a dozen people how to build their own rocket. A rocket stove is really just a, a, a simple wood-burning appliance. Um, it was originally developed for cooking on, developed at the Aprovecho Research Institute for uh, cooking in developing countries. It was a way to take um, a problem which was uh, blindness and chronic lung conditions from cooking indoors as well as having to travel farther and farther to get firewood. Um, this little stove was designed so that we could minimize the amount of wood we were using, clean up the smoke and make the most of the resource without uh, deforesting areas. The rocket stove went from something used for cooking to a device used for heating. Here's a half completed one to show you how it works. It's quite a bit different than a conventional stove because the wood is fed in vertically. Um, and we've got this really large heat riser which, which basically creates a, a strong stack effect. And uh, because only the tips of the wood are actually getting burned, I can pull a piece out here and just show you. Um, you know, what makes this different is that uh, in a conventional wood stove, this whole piece of wood would be burning simultaneously. So we actually have a lot more control over the air to fuel mixture going through this stove, which, which ensures a very, very complete and clean combustion. The competitors to the rocket stove are masonry stoves, which start at about $15,000, or airtight stoves, which aren't quite as effective. While rocket stoves are going viral across North America, they're doing it on the cheap via the do-it-yourself set. It costs between $200 and $400 for a rocket stove, depending on how much scrounging you do for materials. The components of a rocket mass heater is refractory brick. So this is a high aluminum uh, content brick, which doesn't expand and contract very much. Um, this particular one is going to have two uh, steel heat risers in it. So this is just conventional oil and gas pipe, uh, a 50 gallon barrel, which goes over top and then an enormous amount of clay and sand, which is what we use to make cob. The genius of it really is in the design. With its controlled efficient burn, it uses far less wood than a typical stove, and by running its hot flue gases through a thermal battery like a cob bench, it stays useful long after the fire is out. What they've done is, instead of having all of the flue gases just travel up a chimney and heat a pot, um, the flue gases um, are contained by this barrel and this barrel sits on top of the heat riser, which is the little chimney inside the stove, and the heat is then directed into a manifold. That heat is then directed through stove pipe that's inlaid in this cob bench. So all this thermal mass is sucking the heat out of that material, out of the flue gases before it exits the building. Uh, the big benefit of that is that all of that heat is extracted and stored in this heavy mass. So after our fire is long dead, this material will continue to radiate heat into this room, keeping it warm for anywhere from 12 to 36 to 48 hours. Will rocket stoves be replacing your home furnace? Not anytime soon, since none have ever been certified for use in homes. The projects are well documented online and in books, but each one is unique. For now, the stoves are used in the third world and by do-it-yourselfers who use them in outbuildings, garages, and cabins. Well. Yeah, they've gone viral. I think rocket stoves are really appealing because they're efficient. They, they convert the, the wood to heat very well. They're also very effective. So uh, if anybody's been in a room with radiant heat versus forced air heating, they'll know that it feels a lot better. The other thing that appeals to a lot of people is um, that you can use coppiced wood, waste wood, that sort of thing to heat with them. And they can be done very, very inexpensively and used in a wide variety of applications. Three things make the rocket stove special. It's very efficient, very inexpensive, and it stores heat for a long time. Well, I think people like fire. I think that's the first thing. Um, but, you know, at the core, um, here's a technology, in a, what I would call an appropriate technology, which is cost effective. Uh, it can be done by somebody in their backyard, uh, and it doesn't have to cost $15,000 to basically create a system that's beneficial for the planet.
So sustainability, in my opinion, shouldn't cost thousands and thousands of dollars. It should be accessible by a wide range of um, socioeconomic um, classes, if you will. And if you're wondering why it's called a rocket stove, have a listen. By design, a strong draft is created and you can hear the whooshing sound, hence the name rocket stove. To learn more about rocket stoves, head on down to our website at greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got photos, a blog, and a podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. So an airtight stove is very efficient, a rocket stove is efficient and effective. So what I mean by that is that efficiency measures the, how much of the wood energy is converted into flame. Um, when we talk about effectiveness, we want to talk about how much of the energy that's released in the flue gases are actually captured within the building. For a second there I thought you were talking about a new Senate in Canada or something. <laughs> Sorry. Efficiency jokes, and effectiveness. <laughs> it's a three stove. Yeah. <laughs> that's great.